Hey everybody, Brickclover18 here today with my June LEGO City update. I've done some semi-major changes to my city this month, and I'm pretty proud of them. The biggest change was the NCIS building. It expanded a whole 16 by 32 base plate. These mocks pretty much stayed the same, and then I changed a couple things up here in the park. I like the look of my old NCIS mock, but the problem is it just looked really square for what I was trying to go to because the real buildings are rectangle. So by expanding it 16 studs that way, it just looks so much cooler. It's quite a big modular amongst all my other modular buildings, but I think it looks really good. If you haven't seen my video about expanding my NCIS building, check it out in the cards there because I talk about it in more detail. Another thing I did to every single entrance and exit to the city, I put these cross warnings for the trains. There's a total of five rail guards across my city, and there's nothing too fancy about them. When the train's coming by, they go down. And then there's some little lights, and I think they're kind of cool. Another small little difference is this is now a one-way street, so if cars want to leave the city, they have to drive out this way. Over here on the other side of my city, this is also a spot where vehicles can leave. This is a two-lane highway, two-lane highway. This is one lane, vehicles can come in, and then this is two-lane, vehicles can go out and come in. Back here behind the modulars, I changed it up a little. The hospital is now on the corner, sort of, sort of speak, and I actually like that a lot better. It just looks so much nicer than it used to. There's a little one-lane road here. And then we have the police station, the fire station, an exit and entrance, and my new train station. Toys R Us was having a really good deal on this train station, and I thought it would look really great in my LEGO City, so I picked it up. If you want to see that haul video, you need to check the cards right there. I really like the new placement of it in my city. I think it looks kind of cool. I just think I, I just like it. It's like I, I didn't have a train. I had a train station, but it didn't look right, so I tore it apart, and this one looks much better. A new sort of mock that I made was this yellow building here. I'm not really sure about it if I like it or not. It's really hard to sell because it's like right against the wall. So let me know if you like it down below. I did post a better picture of it on Instagram. I did change the bottom floor of my hotel mock just to give it one oh, just to give it one full more story to go. So now the bottom floor is red and gray, and I think that actually looks kind of cool. Someday I hope to make the building even taller. I have yet to decide on a name for this building just because it's kind of hard. I want it to start with a W and I want it to have something about hotels, but I'm just not sure what to call it yet. I have this little custom bike rack here, as well as a businessman getting arrested for drinking in public, which is not good. My booster juice mock is still there. I have the bank hidden kind of behind some trees because I like trees and the park needs trees. Then we have the main gates, this little play area. And then for the most part here, I actually changed it to like vendors, so you know, you can set up your vendor place and just sell. Over here on the very far side, we have the museum, and there's actually like a press conference going on or something like that. Lots of cameras and stuff. And this new little mock that I made, a camera crane, which is kind of cool. I plan on doing a video of that. I haven't yet, though. And there's the Dairy Queen, and as I mentioned, more trees. We got Jeffrey the Giraffe. More trees. That's all that's really different in the park. I do have various crooks around the park just trying to get away from the police officers that are chasing after them. Not a huge difference to the city that difference to the city this month. Just kind of trying to get everything organized and I put it all when I moved my room back in March. So this is April and May and this is the June update. So this is the third update in the city. So I'm just kind of getting things the way I want them, the way I like them and making it even better every time I go. If you have any suggestions for my city or things you want me to see in my city or suggestions on my videos, let me know down in the comments below. Again, thanks everybody for watching this LEGO City update and stay tuned for July 1st when I post my next LEGO City update. If you like this LEGO related video, check out my YouTube channel where it is all LEGO all the time. It is BrickLover18 and BrickLover18.com. You can click on the subscribe annotation on the screen now for all LEGO all the time. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this LEGO related video. Stay tuned for more LEGO related videos here on Brick Lover 18. Have a great day.